Hello students, in the previous session we introduced ourselves to the variance. In this session we shall learn about standard deviation. In the calculation of variance we find that the units of individual observations x i and the unit of their mean x bar are different from that of the variance. Since variance involves the sum of the squares of x i minus x bar for this reason the proper measure of dispersion about the mean of a set of observations is expressed as positive square root of the variance and is called standard deviation. Therefore, the standard deviation usually denoted by sigma is given by sigma is equal to square root of 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to n x i minus x bar the whole square. Let us take the following example to illustrate the calculation of variance and standard deviation. Find the variance of the following ungrouped data 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 and 24. Look at the solution. From the given data we can form the table. The mean is calculated by step deviation method taking 14 as the assumed mean and here number of observations is n is equal to 10. We make this table. This first column represents x i, second column shows us the deviations calculated as x i minus 14 upon 2. We have the values minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 and so on and we calculate the sum also as 5. Third column shows the deviations from mean x i minus x bar. They can be computed and we have the values minus 9, minus 7, minus 5, minus 3, minus 1, 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. The fourth column represents here x i minus x bar the whole square. 9 square gives us 81, 7 square is 49, 5 square is 25 and so on. We find the total also here. It comes out to 330. Therefore, using the formula mean x bar is equal to a plus summation i varying from 1 to n d i upon n into h. We have 14 plus 5 upon 10 into 2 is equal to 15 and variance sigma square is equal to 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to 10 x i minus x bar whole square that can be calculated as 1 upon 10 into 330 that gives us 33. Thus, the standard deviation sigma is equal to positive square root of 33 that is equal to 5.74. Now, let us study about the standard deviation of a discrete frequency distribution. Let the given discrete frequency distribution be x i varying from x 1, x 2, x 3 so on till x n and frequencies ranging from f 1, f 2, f 3 to f n correspondingly. In this case, standard deviation sigma is equal to positive square root of 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to n f i into x i minus x bar whole square, where n is equal to summation i varying from 1 to n f i. Let us take up one more example. Find the variance and standard deviation for the following data x i's are 4, 8, 11, 17, 20, 24 and 32 and corresponding frequencies are 3, 5, 9, 5, 4, 3, 1. Look at the solution. Presenting the data in tabular form, we get first column representing as x i's, second column representing the frequencies f i's and third column shows the product of f i and x i's here. Then fourth column shows x i minus x bar which can be calculated as minus 10, minus 6, minus 3, 3, 6, 10 and 18 and next column fifth shows x i minus x bar whole square. We have the values here 100, 36, 9, 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 3 is a 9 here again, 
similar way we can get for all the values and last column here represents f i into x i minus x bar the whole square. These values can be computed as 300, 180, 81, 45, 144, 300, 324 and on summing up they will give us 1374. Here we note that n is equal to 30 summation i varying from 1 to 7 f i x i is equal to 420 and summation i varying from 1 to 7 f i into x i minus x bar whole square is equal to 1374. Therefore, we can calculate x bar is equal to summation i varying from 1 to 7 f i x i as upon n is equal to 1 upon 13 to 420 that gives us 14. Hence, Variance sigma square can be calculated as 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to 7 f i into x i minus x bar the whole square. This gives us 1 upon 30 into 1374 that gives 45.8 and standard deviation sigma is equal to positive square root of 45.8 that gives us 6.77. Another example here to understand how to calculate the standard deviation for the following data. We have the values x i is as 3, 8, 13, 18 and 23 and frequency is as 7, 10, 15, 10 and 6. Let us form the following table. We have x i is in the first column, f i is in the second column which is given to us in the question. Third column represents the product of f i and x i is. We also calculate its total as 614. Now, next column is x i square. This can be 3 3 is a 9, 8 8 is a 64. Similarly, we get the whole column here. Now, last column shows the product of f i and x i squares. That means, 7 into 9 here gives 63, 10 into 64 is 640. Similarly, other values can be calculated and we get the total as 9652. By using the formula, we have sigma is equal to 1 upon n into positive square root of n into summation f i x i square minus sigma f i x i the whole square. This gives us 1 upon 48 into positive square root of 48 into 9652 minus 614 whole square. That gives 1 upon 48 into positive square root of 463296 minus 376996 that gives 1 upon 48 into 293.77 that is 6.12. Therefore, the standard deviation sigma obtained here is 6.12. Now, let us study about the standard deviation of a continuous frequency distribution. The given continuous frequency distribution can be represented as a discrete frequency distribution by replacing each class by its midpoint. Then the standard deviation is calculated by the technique adopted in the case of a discrete frequency distribution. If there is a frequency distribution of n classes, each class defined by its midpoint x i with frequency f i the standard deviation will be obtained by the formula sigma is equal to positive square root of 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to n f i into x i minus x bar the whole square, where x bar is the mean of the distribution and n is equal to summation i varying from 1 to n f i. We have another formula for calculating standard deviation we know that variance sigma square is equal to 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to n f i into x i minus x bar whole square, which can be simplified as 1 upon n into sigma i varying from 1 to n f i into x i square plus x bar square minus 2 into x bar into x i. That can be written as 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to n f i x i square plus sigma i varying from 1 to n x bar whole square f i minus sigma i varying from 1 to n 2 into x bar f i x i that is equal to 
1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to n f i x i square plus x bar square into summation i varying from 1 to n f i minus 2 x bar into summation i varying from 1 to n x i f i that is equal to 1 upon n into sigma i varying from 1 to n f i x i plus x bar square into n minus 2 x bar into n x bar. Here 1 upon n into sigma i varying from 1 to n f i x i is equal to x bar or sigma i varying from 1 to n f i x i can be written as n x bar that is equal to 1 upon n into sigma i varying from 1 to n f i x i square plus x bar square minus 2 x bar square that is equal to 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to n f i x i square minus x bar square or sigma square is equal to 1 upon n into summation i varying from 1 to n f i x i square minus summation i varying from 1 to n f i x i upon n whole square that is equal to 1 upon n square into n into summation i varying from 1 to n f i x i square minus summation i varying from 1 to n f i x i whole square. Thus, standard deviation sigma is equal to 1 upon n into positive square root of n into summation i varying from 1 to n f i x i square minus summation i varying from 1 to n f i x i the whole square. So, students today we learnt about the standard deviation. In the next session we shall solve some problems to study more about variance and standard deviation. Thank you.